Hey everyone, in today's tutorial, we'll show you how to create a photo collage from scratch using Pixelmator Pro. Let's start by creating a new document. Set the width to 1920 pixels and the height to 1080 pixels. Feel free to experiment with different sizes, but our layout will work best with this specific size. We want to leave some space around the collage, and we also want the spaces to be evenly sized. For that, we can use alignment guides. We'll add them on each side, the top, bottom, left, and right. First, press the Command R keyboard shortcut to show the rulers. Then, double click the ruler on the left to add a horizontal guide. Type 150 and click OK. We need another horizontal guide at the bottom, so let's double click the ruler on the left again. We need to add a guide 150 pixels from the bottom of the image, so let's enter the document height, which is 1080 minus 150, and click OK. Now let's add some guides at the side of the document. Double click the ruler at the top, type 150, and press the return key. Then double click the ruler at the top one more time. To add a guide 150 pixels from the right side of the document, we can type the document width, which is 1920 minus 150, and click OK. After setting up our alignment guides, let's make sure that the smart guides are on as well. We want the images in our collage to be at an even distance from one another. The smart guides will help us accurately position objects on the canvas. From the menu at the top of your screen, choose View, Smart Guides, and check whether all the guides are on. Show relative sizes and show relative spacing are off, so we'll turn them on. After turning on the Smart Guides, let's start working on the layout of the collage. First, choose the Shape tool and click the pop-up menu to open the Shapes browser. Next, drag and drop a rectangle shape onto the canvas. Choose the Arrange tool, drag the rectangle to the left, and adjust its size so it snaps to the top and bottom guides. Our collage should have three equal columns with even gaps, so we need to calculate the width of each column. The width of the whole document is 1920 pixels. We need to subtract the spaces on either side of the document that are 150 pixels each. The gaps between the three rectangles should be 30 pixels, and there will be two such gaps. And now, if we divide that by 3, this gives us 520 pixels for each column. In the Tool Options pane, set the width of the shape to 520 pixels. Next, duplicate the rectangle by pressing the Command-J keyboard shortcut. Drag the duplicated shape to the right. Press the Command-J keyboard shortcut to duplicate the shape once more. Drag the rectangle to the middle. Smart guides will help to place the shapes exactly in the middle of the image. We now have three even rectangles, but we want to add a longer rectangle below the middle and right rectangles. Let's adjust their height to fit this new rectangle. With the middle rectangle selected, drag the layer handle to the middle. With the help of the smart guides, it will snap to the middle of the layout. However, we need to leave a gap of 30 pixels between the shapes, which means we need to subtract 15 pixels from the height of this shape. In the Tool Options pane, in the Height field, subtract 15 pixels from the current height. Select the right rectangle and, with the help of the smart guys, adjust its height to be the same as the middle rectangle. Finally, we can add a longer rectangle at the bottom. The easiest way to do that is by duplicating the top right rectangle and dragging the copy to the bottom. To resize it, drag one of the layer handles. Our collage layout is ready, so now let's clip our photos into the rectangles. To do that, select a shape, then drag and drop an image from your desktop onto the shape. Zoom out if you need to, press and hold the Option key, then drag the layer handles to fit the image into the shape. When resizing layers while holding the Option key, they'll be resized from the center instead. We want the image to perfectly fit the rectangle, so we'll need to create a clipping mask. In the layer sidebar, control click the image and click Create Clipping Mask. You can still change the position of the clipped image by simply dragging it. Let's fill the rest of the collage with images. Click another rectangle to select it. Again, drag and drop an image from your desktop onto the rectangle, then resize the image. A faster way to create a clipping mask is to press and hold the Option key, then click between the two layers you want to clip. Drag the image to adjust its position. 
Finally, let's fill the other two rectangles with images using the same steps. Don't forget to create clipping masks to perfectly fit the images into the shapes. And lastly, let's turn off the alignment guys to check what our collage looks like. In the toolbar, click the disclosure arrow on the left and click show guys to turn them off. And that's it, we've created a perfectly aligned photo collage from scratch. If you'd like to use the collage layout we've created, you'll find a link to it in the video description. Also, don't forget that you can always subscribe to our channel to be notified as soon as we publish new content. And as always, thanks for watching.